California's a lot farther than I thought it was. It looks human, but I don't know. You sure it wasn't one of you fellas? No, none of us have feet like that. Well, I'm confounded. You're the engine for Christ's sakes. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means we picked you up out of that mud's pit of a saloon and gave you a chance at a better life. And all you've done so far is still sit on your ass and drink. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have picked up a motherfucking confederate. Ooh. I won't have you, of all people, talk to me like that. Uh, tell me, how are your 40 acres? I saw something out there. A man, a, a hermit. And you went that way? Yeah. I don't see how that's possible. Well, maybe I didn't see anything. I, I haven't been getting too much sleep these past few nights. Well, let's just be on our guard from now on. I've heard tales of uh, strange and powerful forces in these woods. I'll tell you what, fellas. I can't take another step. Yeah, I think this looks like a good place to settle down for the night. Mm -hmm. You still got them beans you picked up at the post? I sure do. Yeah, give them all to me. Why? What for? I think I know where that smell was coming from last night. <laughs> find a way to afford this stuff. You got a taste for something badly enough, you'll find a way. Well, I got a taste for it, too. And it looks like you found your way. <laughs> you know, us being out here kind of reminds me of, uh, the war years. <laughs> well, compared to them, this isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. Two years after Appomattox. What'd you do after the war anyhow? Nothing really. Couldn't go back to farming, so I just tried to find work. Went to New York and Boston. Even went as far south as Baltimore. Working shipyards mostly. You? I tried to stick it in the army a little bit longer. Thought maybe with it as a career, Martha and I could finally settle down. Shut up with that. In Dixie Land, don't take my stand to live and die in Dixie.
How did the savage fare in the war, anyhow? What did you do, shovel horse shit? Gettysburg! Antietam? For four years, I did my share. See, I don't like to talk about the war. But as for Jake, it's still raging inside him. In 61, his homestead was bushwhacked by rebels. They torched it to the ground. He lost his wife and little girls in the raid. He was a good man, trying to forge a life for his family, the same as any of us. You don't have a right to trample on that. What was that? It was just the wind. They're spirits of those we killed in the war, and they're coming to get us. Shut up with that. You best start believing, Arnold, because you got blood on your hands, and the devils are coming. Same with you. Your innocence won't be spared. You know nothing of innocence. Yes, I do. I know what it's like to take it. I know you've seen your share of... Don't say another word! But over here, it was a different war entirely. We didn't fight regiments and battalions. We butchered and torched the innocent. Mothers, their children. <laughs> Just kill me now. Kill me now before they do, Jacob. What the hell's got you all excited? I'm hungry and all my potatoes are gone. My knapsack's empty. Probably a raccoon or something. A raccoon that eats potatoes? I didn't see any of those tracks around. <laughs> I've had it with you, Hardtack. I'm tired of defending you. Well, I don't need no Yankee defending me anyway. Well, if that's the case, we sure as hell don't need you now. Believe me, I'd rather be rid of you. But I won't leave. I think it's high time we went our separate ways, Hardtack. You and I are never going to be friends. Sack and found these. I knew you was the one that could help us. Tell me, stranger, how much is 33 bushels of potatoes at 26 and a half per bushel? Well, go on, tell him, tell him the answer. Twenty-one dollars and 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 faster. Eight and a half cents. Hey, Tom Jones, I done told you it was. What was it? Twenty-one and eight and a half cents. I done told you twenty years ago. That's what it was, and you did not believe me. Ooh, I told you what. 
I want that bat fair and square. I can't believe it's fine done with. Give me that stick of yours, because now it's mine. And I'm going off right off in the sunset because I want that bat. 21 and 8 and a half cents. Woo-wee! <laughs> I told you, Tom Jones.